Good afternoon, YTPC. North East Pipe UK here. <laughs> Third try. The first one, uh, I got a bit tongue tied and messed up. Unusual for me, I usually get these things off on uh, the first try. So it shows how long it's been since I've, you know, getting out of the touch of doing videos. And the second one, the battery died, so here we are again. Um, I hope you're all well on this weekend, first weekend after Christmas. And for those who do celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful time. And that you had a few treats under the tree waiting for you. Um, so I thought I would share some of the items that I received off uh, Mr. Claus. So, first of all, pipes. Dublin Pipe Mix sent me two lovely pipes. One was for a belated birthday and the other was for Christmas. So I decided to keep this Parker, which was uh, identified as a Zulu shape. I wasn't sure what shape it was. And I have to say, Mick, it's a cracking smoker. Um, I'm actually dedicating this pipe to the brown aromatic flake that I get from the uh, Cuban Cigar Club. I've tried smoking that in a few pipes, I've tried it in the Bulldog and everything, but there's just something about it that it hasn't sat right. Um, but I've been smoking it in this, it's absolutely brilliant. I don't know if it's the thick walls of the bowl, but there's not a lot of heat comes through into your hand and I do get quite a long smoke out of this. I'm getting about an hour, so yeah. Really, really over the moon with this. Thank you so much. Um, the second pipe was this Savinelli. You get a better look at the stem on that than when I showed it when I got them. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely fantastic. I think this is this the 626. Oh, the 602 shape and um, yep I've smoked it I've had a couple of balls out of it and um, yeah absolutely love it nice nice little chin hanger lovely really nice and um, the last pipe was one that I got off Karen and I saw one of the shops in Newcastle was selling the Petersons off for under £50. Sadly the one I originally wanted at the time it took me to go and get some money out of the cash point and come back. Somebody else snaffled it so... But luckily they had the 999 Dracula. And the thing I liked about this was the fact that out of the ones that was left it had a cracking stem. The other ones were really pretty piss poor stems, but thankfully, because I do like this shape, um, this had the better stem as well. So that was a double bonus of uh, of getting that. So, so yeah, sadly I didn't get the 69 shape, but I've got the 69 in the uh, Fisherman series, so I was glad I managed to pick this one up. Haven't smoked it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to dedicate that one to but I'll find something Now, on to tobacco. Um, as you know, I got some items from John Panzer. And I got a little sample bag of Jock, the South African tobacco, which I have to say I've smoked. Really liked it. And uh, I'm hoping to try and uh, contact somebody over there and see if I can get a couple of bags sent over because uh, from what I can gather from Uncle Phil, it's really cheap. And the great thing is that it is an amazing smoke and it would be nice if I can try and get a few bags of that 
and maybe get some samples out of people myself to try. And the other two tobaccos were both McClellan's. I've got this Deep Hollow and I got some of this Dominican Glory. I've had a few bowls of this again. Oh, absolutely wonderful tobacco. And again, the sad thing is that it's one of those when it's gone, it's gone, which is such a shame. Because uh, I knew when I opened it, I was going to really, really love this. Uh, Man Cave Piper, John, popped over to see us. And um, he brought a little something with him. And I love this little badge. Little pipe badge. <laughs> I'll probably wear that to the cigar meet at uh, Newcastle. But I also got a tin of old Dublin Petersons. And I got two tins of the Rattray's Dark Fragrance. Um, John messaged us, he didn't mean to give us two tins of this, so I've got to keep one aside because he wants to swap it with another one. But uh, again, John, both Johns, thank you so much. And um, I'm really looking forward to, to trying these. Um, of Karen, um, I've got some of the Cornell and Deal corn cob pipe and a button nose. I did order two tins of these and I've opened one. Um, I've only had a couple of bowls and I'm not really sure about this one yet, the jury's out. Um, so I might hang on to that, I might hang on to that tin. And um, again, I might use it to send out as samples to people. Um, I've got a tin of one of my favourites, is the Connoisseur's Choice. Been after this a while. Every time I've gone into Durham to try and pick a tin up, it's always been sold out. So, luckily, when um, I was out in Newcastle a few weeks ago, I saw one on the shelf, so I did grab it. And I got some. Finally, Orlick Golden Sliced. Been dying to try this for absolute ages, and. I put an order in, so I thought, right, I'm going to get some, and then I can give them to Karen to put away for us. Um, they had a special offer on, on the Bengal slices, so I picked up this one, which has got the white label, and then I also got, I thought I'd got a Scudo, but I was wrong. I got the black Bengal slices. Um, so if anybody can give me any more information on these ones, that would be great. Um, I know this one I've been reading on the back, it's like a crumble cake with Cyprian Latakia, so an Oriental's going to be a winner straight away. Um, what have we got in here? No real information on the back of this one of what's in the tobacco, so again, I'll need to check up on those two. They were a bit of a stab in the dark, but I've seen people on about them before, and I think it was two tins for something like... $20 so it was pretty pretty crazy to let that go at that price so yeah those are the ones that um, that I got and um, I've got a few whiskies as well because I am thinking in the new year of maybe just doing a, a pairing up video of what I like to what whiskey I like to drink with the tobacco with either pipe or cigar um, Karen always gets me a bottle of my favourite, which is the Talisca Sky. Um, we usually alternate one year, I might get a bottle of Talisca Storm. One year I'll get just like the sort of the normal one. Um, absolutely love this whiskey. It's definitely this and Highland Park are my top two favourites. Um, I was watching a few other videos and somebody else had done sort of a cigar and 
of bourbon pairing up and obviously a few people have sort of really bigged up this bourbon as well so when I saw a bottle that was on special offer and it was the limited edition Christmas one as well I thought to myself well I might as well get it it's 20 pounds kind of go wrong and that's the Woodford Reserve um, I'm quite looking forward to trying this um, I bought a couple of other whiskies myself sort of recently that I haven't opened Buffalo Trance is another one that um, was recommended that I picked up quite cheap um, so again I thought I'd, you know, I'm not really into the sort of bourbon whiskies so it's something I want to sort of dip my toe into I've been sort of enjoying some Jim Beam and that recently and speaking of Jim Beam I picked up a bottle of the Jim Beam Honey which uh, Karen sort of again snaffled and put away for us for Christmas um, last year I got the Jim Beam Apple which to be quite honest with you the bottle didn't last long because it was absolutely heaven and they did have it again and I almost got it but I thought well no I've tried that one let's give the give the honey one it's Dame Court and see what uh, see what we think about that one so yes those are the tobaccos that I got for Christmas um, I'm not really going to rush into smoking any of these because I've got so many tins and jars open I want to really try and get through them and um, so I'm going to hang on a little while with those so while I've got everyone's attention as well I, I thought well while I'm here I might go through what has been my top five tobaccos this year you're probably not going to be surprised what's number one so if you want to switch off now I won't blame you but there is a surprise one in there from when I did it a few months ago well number five is Revo Club again it was one of those ones when I first smoked it I just oh, it was absolutely amazing My attention was drawn to it last year. Uh, Yanez Pipe and Tobacco reached out to us and um, asked if there was any way that he could have some tobacco sent to my house because unfortunately the company didn't ship overseas. And I said, yeah, of course, you know, send it to me, I'll wrap it up and, you know, pass it on. And all this Revor plug turned up. And I know Yanez had asked before, he asked a few items if I was ever out and about if I could see it out you know to pick it up for him Revor plug was one of them but sadly none of the local tobacconists I went to actually dealt in it so I sent them all off to Yannis and I was really intrigued about it myself so when I started ordering online and I found out the company I ordered from stocked it I thought I'll get, you know, I'll get a pouch and give it a try at the time this is the other annoying thing was at the time I think it was only about £13 for a pouch um, but they cottoned onto that one quick because it's suddenly zipped back up to £15 for a 50 gram pouch so that was a bit annoying and of course fell in love with it as some of you know I've sent it out to you to try and see what your thoughts are and again it's definitely one that in the new year I'm hoping to get a few get it in a jar and keep it in the cellar Number four. A few months ago, I was lucky to win Buckeye Piper's fantastic giveaway. And I got an absolute mountain of tobacco. And the one that really, really did it for me and has come in at number four in my top five was the Cornell and Dale small batch Sans Paul Crow. Absolutely love it. And again, it's annoying with these limited edition ones that you know for a fact that you're going to absolutely 
fall in love with them and then they're going to go and you're going to be forever wondering as it's going to come back so hopefully fingers crossed this is a one that will come back soon so again absolutely lovely lovely smoke now number three snuck in there it's a more recent tobacco which I've really fell in love with again it was one of those ones that when you had that first bowl it was an instant wow this stuff is really nice and that is the Peterson Old Dublin absolutely love it um, and I, I must say at time of speaking this has probably been the most bought tobacco that I've bought for myself um, because not only have I got it for myself I've been sending a few out to um, other pipers as well and um, because I really really do love this stuff it's really nice um, and you know the number two and the number one of course they are both GLP's brands and number two is definitely the Robusto again I absolutely love it I've only got a little bit left every time I try to order it it's sold out being really pissed at that and um, because when I wasn't able to buy anything from the States it was always in stock now I've been able to try and get some and it's just everywhere gone so as soon as I get the chance that'll be back on and that'll be getting sell it up and number one of course GLP's Westminster you know absolutely love it I really do want to thank Andrew Sirigliano for putting me onto those two blends because he very kindly sent sent them over to us to try and again they were both straight off the bat I liked them instantly and again the Westminster is another one I tried to grab an 8 ounce tub and it was out of stock luckily I managed to pick up a 2 ounce tin and I think I got the last tin because I'm sure I put three in the card and I couldn't get them I could only get the one and um, so again get the new year out the way I want to get some eight ounce tins of those get them stored away get them stocked up and um, a couple of special special mentions that I want to put out there because um, one of them is definitely got to be the cigar blend that Yanez made for us and sent us over that I kept for my 50th birthday it is absolutely amazing stuff, Yanez. You've really, really got to make more of that stuff, mate, because it is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, I sent some off to Phil to try in his Christmas box, and he was smoking some last night on his live, and he absolutely loved it. And I think he's just sent us a message there to say again that it is absolutely amazing. So, yes... I hope you can get your hands on some more of that leaf and get some more of that made because I would definitely, definitely like to get some more from you. Even though the nicotine hit kicks like a mule, it is still great stuff. After a big meal with a nice drink, heaven I think that's probably what's getting us back into cigars actually <laughs> um, and the other one what I've been really enjoying is the GLP's Quiet Nights and um, I've got this in the gaslight gaslight mm, it's not bad but this one I've not I've not got a lot left and again I think this is another one I'm going to get a nice eight ounce of and and took away and keep it somewhere safe and um, so yes if you haven't tried this definitely recommend it and again some of the others if you've not tried them you know put them on your shopping cart and give them a try and let us know what you think so those are my top five for the year again it was really hard because i've tried so many different tobaccos and I really really do want to thank the people who have been kind enough to send me samples you know I mean not just little bags I mean you know some cases I've had like boxes with tins in and you know again it just it just blows me away the generosity of the YTPC 
and hopefully it's something that um, I'm going to get more involved with next year where I can feel that I can I can send some stuff out to people and it was quite nice to be able to send stuff out at uh, Christmas there and it was just a shame that you know I couldn't really get as much out as I wanted to and yeah, but hopefully in the new year get back uh, get back into things I can start uh, I can start getting a few things sent out to people and so watch your mailbox you might get a surprise so yes thanks everybody um, it was a bit of a trying year for me and um, but luckily you know we we held on with both hands and we got through it again you lot got me through this listening to my bullshit videos and putting comments and thumbs up and again sending us lovely things to try pipes and tobacco again I'm eternally grateful so here's to 2020 I hope it's going to be a great year and again I wish you all the very best of health and as always wherever you are I hope that you're safe you're well and you're happy you're enjoying a bowl and hopefully not being bored by this video because it's a long one <laughs> so look after yourselves and I will see you all again soon bye for now thanks for watching